Now we will discuss some laws of reflection and refraction because we will have to develop some mathematics over here and take mathematics will actually tell us that when we go from a medium n1 to another medium n2 such that n1 is less than n2 then what will be the laws of reflection and refraction the very first law that we are having here is that the incident the incident this way the reflected which is this ray and the transmitted and the transmitted ray which is actually this one which we call the refracted ray and the transmitted rays of light will be in one plane. This will be a single plane. The incident, the reflected, the transmitted, as well as this perpendicular line which we have drawn, it will be in a single plane. For example, this page is a single plane. So, the perpendicular line is also on this page, the incident on this page, the reflected on this page, and the transmitted on this page. So, it will be just, you can say, one plane. It will not go this way or this way. This means, the very first law means that the incident reflected the transmitted is will is the perpendicular line that we have drawn it will be a single plane so this is the first law of the reflection and the second law the second law of reflection is that the angle of incidence for a smooth surface or polished surface the angle of incidence will always be equal to the angle of reflection. So the second law is actually that the incident angle will always be equal to the reflected angle. And this will be for, this will be true for all wavelengths and all materials so we say that this is true for for all wavelengths and for all refractive indices that whatever are the wavelengths whatever is the wavelength of the incident light and whatever is the material which is there this angle will be exactly equal to the angle of reflection and another law that we write here the third one the third one is that the ratio of the incident angle sine of theta i by sine of theta t means the angle this is now the law of refraction so these this was a combined one for the incident reflected as well as refracted this one was for the reflection and now this is for the refraction so the incident the sign of the incident angle and its ratio with the sign of the transmitted angle will always 
be equal to the inverse of their refractive indices Mg over Ni. Now at this basic level we are not deriving this thing but this can be easily derived from the Maxwell equations which we will hopefully do when we will do the electromagnetic interaction with matter at BS level. So we will derive this relation that this is equal to Nt over Ni and this we call the law of refraction or we call this Snell's law. Snell, the Dutch scientist, very broad Snell's, he is considered that he has derived this law for the first time, although this is a bit doubtful because for the derivation of this equation, we will have to utilize this equation and this equation came a bit later than Snell's lifespan. So this is a bit doubtful that Snell's derived this one, but is a custom we are saying that it is derived by Snell's and this is the law of refraction of Snell's. When a ray will come exactly in the perpendicular direction like this, for example, it is hitting exactly a perpendicular direction parallel to this one. Then what will happen to this ray? This ray will actually go without any deviation to the other material as well. And from the other material exactly in the same line. Similarly, if it enters from here, then it will go straight and it will move out or transmit straight from here. So it will follow this path. And the reason for this one is that the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection. So here the angle of incidence according to this perpendicular line is zero. So the reflection is also going at zero angle and similarly there will be no bending here because we will have to utilize this equation and this equation you see that it is not giving any result because sine of 0 by sine of 0 here so similarly here as well so this equation is not giving any result and this is for this equation is for all the angles which are not zero angle but slanted angle so we say that the reflection this law is for the oblique incidence means when the incidence is at a certain angle to the surface which we call the oblique incidence. So for oblique incidence we are having this angle is means the line will go straight and then up here and this will also be true this will also be true for all wavelengths and all materials. This is also true for all wavelengths and all materials. Now there are so many applications of reflection and those applications we will discuss now one by one.